Okay guys, so I've been looking at all the fashion magazines scouring away for you for spring beauty trends and it appears that the common thread is super super natural makeup, a bold brow, neutral natural lip, some beachy crazy messy waves, easy peasy, it takes five minutes so thank you spring beauty trends for making this easy for us girls. So today I'm going to show you just how honestly I used my Anastasia contour kit for everything on my face. Well, except for my brows. That would be a little extreme. But, nevertheless. Okay, so we're gonna go super natural. It's gonna take you 10 minutes tops. You'll be running out the door. Honestly, I kinda touched up my uh, bed head and I'm ready to roll. So, stay tuned, stick around, and let's do it, ladies. Okay, so start with foundation. So instead of using my normal highlighter, I have my foundation on. I'm gonna go ahead and use these MAC Luster Drops. They're awesome. So just kind of shake that up and just put that, I usually just put it right on my hand and kind of dab that anywhere that you would normally use your highlighter. So just on your cheekbones sides of your eyes and across that cupid's bow and then I'm just gonna take a little sponge or beauty blender and just kind of blend that right in can you guys see that like what Shimmery, sparkly, stunning. Should that like be a thing? I don't know. So we're gonna start with that Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. Ding, 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 ding. My fave. And that bronzer brush. Ding. And I always go with this darkest color here. And just normal contour. So we've done our face. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit in the crease of our eyes. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not even switching to a smaller brush because this is just natural. This is just the sun. It's kind of kissed our face. We're in a hurry. We're gonna run out the door. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of setting powder. So I'm just going to stick in my Anastasia contour kit. I'm going to use this lightest color here. Not the one with the shimmer, but the matte. And then get a little bit on that small blending brush and bring that just like we normally would anywhere we're highlighting to kind of blend out that bronzer. So it's not a super harsh line. It's all super natural. This is how you roll out of bed, girl. cheeks because we have all of this pretty dewiness we don't want to cover it up so really just kind of lightly tap that in there and then we're gonna bring it right under our eyes just to kind of set that kind of hide those bags brighten that up a little bit but without getting rid of that pretty dewiness there on our cheekbones same here so it's super pretty super shimmery here and we don't want to lose all of this so just kind of above it, just lightly get in there with that highlighting powder. Same thing, kind of dust that across our brow bones and our lids without sort of mattifying that shimmer, that dewy highlighter. All we're gonna do on our eyes, mascara. 
Don't think I'm a crazy person. Supernatural. Wow, what naturally beautiful eyelashes you have, my friend. We're gonna do a little bit of blush, super natural. This is the one I almost always use because I'm completely obsessed. Gingerly by MAC, just that really, really pretty, kind of natural pink color. And then a big blending brush, dot that in there. Bring that just on the outsides of those cheekbones kind of toward the apple of our cheek, but not necessarily right on it. Okay, so we're gonna do our brows. I use this amazing Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. So this is it, and let me show you why I love it. So it has this tip that's kind of a triangle. It's wider, it's wider at the base and then it's a little bit more pointed, but it's so easy to get into those brows without having to do five million little tiny strokes. So we're gonna take this little trick. So go from the outside of your nostril right to where that brow is. This is where this little guideline, that's where your brow should start. So as you can see, I'm like super, super over plucked from like my high school days, but you can still fake it. And I love this, this um, brow definer for that reason. So then we're gonna go from the outside of our nostril to the outside of our pupil. And that is where our arch should start. That's where you should kind of see that turn. So just outside of the nostril. I don't always, I've kind of learned where I like to do my brows now, so I don't necessarily do all these guidelines. But for those of us that are kind of figuring out the shape of our brows, great way to do it. From there, we're just going to, with short little strokes, <clears throat> kind of fill that in. And then just brush those guys kind of back out. So we want to leave them kind of messy. Wow, I just naturally have these fabulously full, beautiful brows. Now, go in with that Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Holding Gel. You probably cannot read what's on that. That light is like sending it crazy. And then just kind of brush that out Keep those hairs in place, but kind of disheveled. So don't brush them flat down. You still want them to look super natural. You woke up and you were just like this stunning creature. So I'm running like super low on this. Ah, little baby. Okay, but it is Edge to Edge by MAC and it's a really pretty pink liner. So. Slime those lips. See so you have that liner? And then I'm gonna use Blankety, which is what I usually use as my nude, but it's gonna blend really well with this pink liner and make a super natural, natural, wait, I already said natural. Oh well, lip color. <laughs> There you have it, my friends. Your supernatural, dewy finish, perfect look for spring, daytime. What? Who are you? Who are you? Hmm. A stunner, that's who. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed yourself in this video, or if you found it helpful, please share it with your friends and click the subscribe button below. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys.